Hello, it's Mark for Ableton Daily, emulating the TB303 synthesizer with the operator instrument inside Ableton Live. I received an email the other day from an Ableton Daily subscriber asking me if I've ever thought about trying to emulate the 303. And I said, hey, you know what? It sounds like a good idea, and I'll look into it. And I gathered together some 303 samples because I don't actually have a 303. And I tried to come pretty close to it. One of the more distinctive sounds that the 303 has is the distortion. And if you hear the distortion, you just know it's a 303 just, just right away. And the way I've achieved that is by using the shaper. I've switched this to off, which is the default setting, to soft, and then I've created a 12 dB drive just to give it that nice hard edge. Okay, and I also tweaked the resonance and the frequency response. And I'll show you how to do all this. You can download this project by going to abletondaily.com over on the project file section. You can get everything you see here, including the impulse drum kit that I've included, which is just some basic 808 samples. And you can download 808 samples for free on the internet. I've included some of them with the project. I don't think I have a cowbell in there, so you'll have to get the cowbell if you want the cowbell. But that's just what I used, and I made a basic uh, drum loop pattern here for the sound. Okay, so, well, we'll go ahead and make this a little tutorial here, and I'll show you exactly how to make the sound. I'll go ahead and minimize these tracks, and let's make a new MIDI track. I'll just right-click here, insert MIDI track, and I'll go ahead and expand it, and arm the track. And then I'll come over here to the live devices inside the instruments folder and I'll drag in operator. There we go. Okay. And the first thing we're going to do is set up one oscillator. So by default, oscillator A should be turned on with the volume at zero dB. And then for the wave for this oscillator, let's go ahead and change this to a saw D. And this is going just off the screen here a little bit. It's right down here, saw D. Okay, and let's go over here to envelope and let's have a nice fast attack on that so you can leave the, the attack the way it is. But for the decay, let's go ahead and decrease this down to 17 milliseconds. Just type in 17 and press enter, just like that. And for the initial peak, uh, this is all good the way it is. Uh, for the release and the sustain, let's go ahead and change these. We're not gonna want any release on this at all, so you can just go ahead and enter in one millisecond or just type in zero and press enter. For the sustain, let's go ahead and take this down to a negative 4.1, press enter. There we go. All right, cool. Okay, let's move over to the filter section. I'll go ahead and click here and turn this on. And for the filter, we're gonna add a low pass 24 decibel filter here, okay? And we can go ahead and tweak this a little bit. All right, let's go over to the envelope here, make sure that that's activated so we can see the envelope graphic here. And over here on the attack, enter in 170 milliseconds. So just type in 170, press enter. And then for the decay, you can type in about 350, somewhere around there, is fine, and press enter. And for the peak, I'm gonna enter in 34, 34%, and the initial, let's add in 55%. Press enter. 
And for the release, let's make this uh, 60, 60 seconds, if you want, 60 milliseconds. And for the slope in between the decay and the sustain, let's go ahead and straighten this out just a little bit so it looks something like this. Okay? All right, still sounds pretty much the same, right? Well, we need to tell operator that we want the envelope to affect the way the filter sounds. In order to do this, we must send the envelope to the filter. And the way to do this is really easy, just right here where it says envelope, go ahead and click here, and then type in 100%, just 100, and press enter. And now let's listen to it. Okay, so you have sort of that sound now. And like I was explaining at the beginning of the video, to really make it sound like that TB303, you're going to have to change this shaper here to a soft shaper. And when you do that, the live and the dry and wet mix options light up. And so for the drive, just go ahead and enter in 12. And then for the dry and wet mix, you can tinker around with this a little bit. I found just somewhere around 60% works just fine. So you just type in 60 and press enter. There you go. The distortion is there, we just don't hear it a lot because we don't have the resonance turned up very loud. So I'll just go in here and crank up the resonance really high. Another key factor with the 303 is that it has a nice glide sound between the notes. So it's gliding between one note to the other. And to achieve this, just go to the pitch section here and you'll see a little glide button. It's already lit up for you right here. Just go ahead and click on that. And you can set the timing for the glide. If I, just to make this more of an extreme case, I'll go ahead and turn this up like to one second and I'll go ahead and Give you an example. Okay, something like that. But however, the TB303 is monophonic. And by default, if you click right here in the master section inside operator, you'll notice that by default, it's set to six voices. So you're really gonna have more of that monophonic, uh, old traditional analog type sound if you switch this to one voice. We have a pretty slow timing on that glide, I'll just go ahead and switch this down to somewhere around 50%. And let's try it out. So now we're getting closer to that more traditional 303 sound. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you would like to fatten up the sound to give it a little bit more bass, uh, what you can do is change the algorithm inside operator. Just click right here. The default algorithm is more like a FM synthesis type algorithm where you have everything, you know, the oscillators are modulating other oscillators. Well, if you come over to the first one here and click here, this is more of a traditional additive synthesis algorithm. And then over here on oscillator B, the levels turned down. Just go ahead and turn the level up a little bit and you can add a little bit more low end to the sound. Okay. So that, that'll help the sound a little bit. For those of you that are really looking to use this as more like a bass sound, uh, that's going to help out a lot. And the default setting for that oscillator B is a just a basic sine wave, which just kind of gives it more of a warmer low end. But what you'll want to play with the most is probably the frequency cutoff and also the resonance. Almost sounds like a you, can, you probably use that for like a techno bass line or something already. All right, so there you have it, guys. You can have fun with that. And don't forget, you can download the project file on my website. 
My name's Mark. This is Ableton Daily. Hey, if you like the videos, please subscribe. You can see at my YouTube channel that I have other video tutorials on music and sound design, different things, movie sound effects, all the way from drum kits and how to design different sounds for your music. It's all there. So thank you very much for watching the video and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.